Hello Aquarius! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm going to use the Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. Supportive Oracle Cards, Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. Alright, let's see what we got for Aquarius. Interesting. Why are like, okay, there's a lot of them face down, which is, it's either surprises or it's not going to really make sense until it happens. You're not going to be able to do anything about it until it happens. Hmm. Let's see what happens here. Eight of coins coming in. When you're starting this situation, you got so much going on that you don't really have time for other people's problems or to like figure out what this is or what that is. You just seem to be busy doing this, doing that, going here, going there. You don't have a lot of time to figure out other people. Your brain might be constantly going, but it's kind of like you don't have enough time to really sink your teeth into anything to figure something out is what I'm getting. Now. What's going on? Well, you seem to be very distracted. Very distracted. But it doesn't seem like it's bad. It just seems like it's just how it is at that moment. Um, what's going on around you? This is all face down. There's balance, angel of balance, patience, and contract. So things are kind of working out the way they're supposed to. Um, somebody seems to be biding their time, and they have some ideas about what they want to do. They notice that you're kind of busy. You, do, you don't seem to be paying attention to them. You're too busy to. And they're making decisions and things they're going to do next. All right, doesn't seem that bad so far. I don't even know if it's going to go good or bad, to tell you the truth, because most, most everything's face down. <laughs> um, what comes in next for you is the Two of Swords with the Sun card. Things just stopped all of a sudden. The Two of Swords is like a block. The Sun card is like, when this happened, you were fine with it. Um, all of a sudden, things just changed. It seemed to be quite abruptly. It's like there's a block. But the Sun card is like, I almost feel like this energy, whatever they're doing, I think it was what they were trying to do, there, there was a block, and this actually served you. Um, they were trying to make plans and move forward, and it doesn't seem like it actually happened. You seem to be aware that this something got blocked and you don't seem to be upset with it, you seem to be fine. Okay, we're good. Even though you seem to be fine with it, I feel like this other person is like, whatever they were planning to do and they got blocked from, they seem to blame you a little bit for this. Is this anxiety? Yep, anxiety. They seem to blame you a little bit for this. Like The reason they got blocked is because you had a hand in it. In their, in their opinion, you had a hand in it. Um, I don't know if that's rational or not, but that's the energy I'm feeling. And they are giving you, they're giving you guff about it. They got the Five of Wands, which to me is an argument card. They're giving you a hard time. They're arguing with you. They're not really working with you that well. Um, they're very difficult at this point, but I'm getting at this point also... Even though they're difficult, you're just kind of like, well, you know, I got, there's so much going on. Even if somebody's constantly being a pain in your butt, you've got so many other things you've got to do. It's like you can't, you can't really take the time to be worried about it. I don't know how that's... You just can't take the time to be worried about it. you got you got things you still have to do here. Four of Cups is... Or Four of Pentacles... Four of Pentacles. These are both actually Pentacle cards. Coins or Pentacles. They're Earth either way. Um, you, you're still going along with it. You're going along. You're not really changing how you're feeling about things. If you meant to block it, then you meant to block it. If you didn't mean to block it, you're still like, well, it worked out the way it worked out. You're just kind of going along the way you're going along. You're, you don't have time for it. You don't have time for it. Okay, let's keep going. I'm going to flip the rest of these. Cause this is, it just seems strange to me the way this is working out. <laughs> Um, I feel like things are going well for you. 
this person finally leaves you alone, this person might take a hard exit out of your life. Whoever this person is that's causing you problems, when I say they might take a hard exit, like they're not a problem anymore. So whatever that means, um, So for some of you, if this is a child, they're still around, but like they're heavily involved in other activities. So they, like they've gotten involved in some other activity that it seems like it's good because I don't see you getting upset about it. Just in case it's like a child connection, I don't see like a, a negative ending. More like they're not being a problem to you because they got something else they got to do and all their time is being sucked into that. For some of you, I do feel like it's a relationship thing and somebody's just leaving, like they're just going. If that's the case, though, I almost feel like that's not upsetting you either because maybe this has been over for a while. If it's a job situation, I feel like it's somebody else leaving and not you, quite frankly. Because it's somebody's walking away and leaving you alone. When this happens, whenever this change happens, though, you're completely shocked. Not at all expecting it. Not at all. Not even sure at first if you like it. At first, it's kind of like, well, when they were complaining to me, at least I knew what they were doing. At least I know what was going on here. And you're like, I, I don't even know what to think about this now. Um, I don't know. It's It wasn't bad, but you're like, I don't know if it's good. It shocked you. Whoever this other person is, they're heading off into a different direction and they're doing what's right for them. Instead of blaming you for their shortcomings, they're taking control of that they're owning their own they're owning their own situation uh whoever this is they're 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 taking ownership of their own situation and this is this is good this is very good i'm getting um it seems to be that this is going to go into a better direction later um it goes well when this person takes ownership of their own situation it push, pushes everything into a whole new phase. Things stabilize a lot better between you and this person. I don't think this person is gone from your life permanently or like completely. But for example, if it was like a, if it was a lover and, they, and they're leaving you, there's still something left over you have to work out is what I'm getting. It's not a problem. It just seems like things stabilize for you and for them. Um, the world is here, a whole new phase coming in. I'm getting this is good for you. You've got the Ace of Cups like in your favor at this point. This is ending really well. Like somebody's like leaving and it seems to be opening doors for you. I'm getting like it's a breath of fresh air. You're feeling vitalized again. You're feeling strong again. You're not feeling like the world is holding you down. And I'm getting you're going to go out there and whatever that whatever it left like it it seems to be a lot of other things are going to improve after this. I'm getting the Knight of Cups with the Four of Wands. You seem to be looking at other things that are taking up too much time in your life. And for some of you, that might be a job. And I feel like at this point, you're like, all right, you know what? I'm not going to work my life away. There's got to be a different way to do this. I'm going to start looking into options. Doesn't mean I'm going to leave this job, but it, I either I might change my position here, change how I do things here. Or I could very well go somewhere else. Maybe I'll go and do something completely different. You're opening up to a lot of other possibilities at this point. I'm getting, this is really good. Knight of Cups and the Four of Wands. I'm also getting like, this also does seem like an option line for you. They're saying, take this moment when this other situation calms down and walks away. Look at your options. It's time for you to reevaluate and audit your own life and your own circumstances at this moment. Your life is very busy. There's some good things going on here, but how much is this serving you? Don't look at it as, as in it's just good for now and things are good now. Look at it, where is it taking you? And like it may be good for now, but could it be better? Do we have to settle for good or could we actually get great? Because I'm feeling like you'd prefer great. There's an opportunity coming your way within a couple months after this, after this person walks away, within a couple months after that, I'm getting something really good is coming your way. But you have to be ready for it. And you have to decide for yourself before you even get there. Are you going to settle for good or are you going to go for great? I would go for great. It's up to you. 
but they're saying you have to already have your mindset there. If you see it coming towards you and you're just kind of like, I'm happy where I am, you'll see it, but you'll be like, well, that's for somebody else and you'll let it pass you right by. If you, But if you've already decided, yeah, what I have is good, but I, I prefer great, you'll see it and you'll be like, you know what? That might be a little bit of a risk, but maybe this is worth the risk. And you'll look into it, you'll research a little bit about it, and you'll be like, you know what, I think that is for me. And then you'll go. Boom. Let's go for great, that's what I say. All right, I think we're there. I'm gonna shut this down here, I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.